Welcome back. Now, the chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Zaka Didiji, says the 2.59 trillion naira tax credit scheme introduced by the former president, Mohamed Buhari's administration for road construction across the country was illegal and should be scrapped. The 2.59 trillion naira tax credit scheme was introduced through Executive Order 7 of 2021 by the Buhari-led administration. Details in this report. Representatives of both the FIRS and NNPCL spoke when they yeah, appeared the story, before yeah. the Senate Committee on Finance, chaired by Senator Sani Musa. The Senator Musa-led committee had invited the FIRS and NNPCL to shed light on implementation of the scheme in view of the poor state of federal roads across the country. No matter what the circumstances look like, to correct what you think is not right. This is, this is actually the purpose of this meeting. But you know, we are part of the government. We are all one government. So when we come to approach issues, we must, we as legislators, we must listen very carefully to be able to now take our own decisions. What he has said is exactly what I believe is a decision that we will have taken here. The Constitution has said it. Every, every revenue, every revenue according to the government should go to the Consolidated Revenue Fund. Notwithstanding, even if an MPC is a limited liability company, and uh, if we go on this trajectory, we are creating a precedent, a situation where NNPC that is supposed to concentrate more. Are we going to call this part of their corporate responsibility, social responsibility? No. Is it their core mandate? No. So, I think NNPC will have to, I mean, the whole MDA is involved. FIRS, Federal Ministry of Works, NNPC. For the meeting they are going to hold, they have to agree to review the whole structure. Criticizing the scheme, the FIRS chairman identified lapses in the tax credit scheme to include those of project monitoring, budgetary allocations, and releases of funds. He challenged the Federal Ministry of Works to be alive to its responsibilities while saying he will tutor officials of the ministry on principles of financial management during their next interface. Is on monetary, two is on budget allocation, third is about the duty. I'm chairman of Federal Revenue. My mandate is to assess, collect, and account for money. I don't have appropriation rights. And that is why you see the delay in the payment. I did not approve any payment, and I'm not ready to approve because it is not in the law for me to be appropriating the money I'm collecting. And that's the law. So, um, not only that, if you look at the whole concept, because Senator uh, Tokumbo raised something about the impact on the economy in the future. There are reasons why we have rules and laws. The first thing for any project is that you appropriate for it in National Assembly, and that is where you have all the rights to monitor and do all sorts. It is not my duty or NMPC duty or any company duty, for that matter, to tell us where you have tax, you must use it for road. The responsibility is to collect the money, and when we appropriate, we know what to do. Why you have problem in all these things? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.